In the United States, hyperthyroidism affects about 1.2% of the population. About half of these cases have obvious symptoms while the other half do not. It occurs between 2 and 10 times more often in women. Also, the disease is more common in those over the age of 60 years. But what is hyperthyroidism, and what causes this condition? An overactive thyroid, also known as hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis, is where the thyroid gland produces too much of the thyroid hormones. The thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland in the neck, just in front of the windpipe, also known as the trachea. It produces hormones that affect things such as heart rate and body temperature. Having too much of these hormones can cause unpleasant and potentially serious problems that may need treatment. There are several causes of hyperthyroidism. Most often, the entire gland is overproducing thyroid hormone. Less commonly, a single nodule is responsible for the excess hormone secretion, called a hot nodule. Thyroiditis, which is inflammation of the thyroid, can also cause hyperthyroidism. Graves' disease, also known as toxic diffuse goiter, is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism, with 50 to 80% worldwide. The exact cause of the disease is unclear, however, it is believed to involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors. The second most common cause of hyperthyroidism is thyroid adenoma, a benign tumor of the thyroid gland that may be inactive or active functioning autonomously as a toxic adenoma causing overactive thyroid. High blood levels of thyroid hormones, most accurately termed hyperthyroxinemia, can occur for a number of other reasons. One example is inflammation of the thyroid thyroiditis. There are several different kinds of thyroiditis, including Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is immune-mediated hypothyroidism, and subacute thyroiditis. Also, it was noticed that amiodarone, an anti-arrhythmic drug, is structurally similar to thyroxine and may cause either under- or overactivity of the thyroid. Hypersecretion of thyroid-stimulating hormone, which in turn is almost always caused by a pituitary adenoma, accounts for much less than 1% of hyperthyroidism cases. Hyperthyroidism may be asymptomatic or present with significant symptoms. Some of the symptoms of hyperthyroidism include nervousness, irritability, and increased perspiration. Moreover, some patients experience heart racing, hand tremors, anxiety, trouble sleeping, thinning of the skin, fine brittle hair, and muscular weakness. Weight loss, sometimes significant, may occur despite a good appetite. Vomiting may occur, and for women, menstrual flow may lighten and menstrual periods may occur less often or with longer cycles than usual. To diagnose hyperthyroidism, a blood test is performed to measure the level of thyroid-stimulating hormone produced by the pituitary gland. A low thyroid-stimulating hormone level typically indicates that the pituitary gland is being inhibited or instructed by the brain to cut back on stimulating the thyroid gland, having sensed increased levels of T4 and or T3 in the blood. In rare circumstances, a low thyroid-stimulating hormone indicates primary failure of the pituitary or temporary inhibition of the pituitary due to another illness, and so checking the T4 and T3 is still clinically useful. Subclinical hyperthyroidism is a milder form of hyperthyroidism characterized by low or undetectable thyroid-stimulating hormone level, with a normal serum-free thyroxine level. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will talk about how to manage hyperthyroidism and what are the latest treatment options available for the disease. If you liked our content, please like, share, and subscribe to see our latest uploads. See you next time.